G'day viewers, how the devil are you? If you're like me, you've probably looked at vids on YouTube and thought, what sort of a pelican had come up with an idea like that? Well, here's another one. I've turned grandma's piss pot into a waste oil burner. Bet you've never seen that before. And the most amazing part was, I wasn't even pissed when I came up with the idea. Stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how it's done. Like me, the uh, construction of the business end of this burner is dead simple. As you can see, all I've done is get a bolt, I've uh, tack welded that to the pipe, put that metal disc on the end, and that's it. The whole idea of it is that you want the air to come out and hit the sides of the, the burning chamber, the pot, whatever you've got it in. You don't want the air to impact the oil directly because that overcools it and you need the oil to be hot to vaporise. The way this works is basically the air comes out, it, it uh, lights off some of the, the vapours which it pushes onto the side wall of the burning chamber, the heat's transmitted down and that gives you your oil vaporisation. As the oil vaporises, the um, vapours come up and then they're mixed with the air very thoroughly and burn. The reason this uh, will burn cleanly is because there is always an excess of air. I've done some testing with this and the amount of oil in the pot is, is relatively uh, insignificant. As long as you know you haven't got way too much or run out, the thing seems to uh, to work pretty much just the same. Some of my older viewers might recognise one of these. It's what we used to call in our family a gazunda, gazunda the bed at night. The thing that's interesting about this is it's narrow at the top, widens in the middle, and then narrows down again at the bottom. I'm thinking for this setup of burner, it might work really well because it'll help trap the flame and retain the heat. Don't know how it's going to go, the enamel should probably uh, stay together, not burn off, but we'll light it up and we'll see what happens. There we go, I've just lit it and as you can see, it seems to burn quite nicely. I think having the flame come back on itself will work really well for this. We'll just let it burn and see how she lights off. Now as you can see, I've put in the oil feed that blows through the air inlet and it seems to be working quite nicely with the output. I'm noticing that there is some vaporisation of the oil in that air inlet. It seems to be aiding the combustion quite nicely because the oil is effectively half cooked off by the time it gets into the burner. So that, that's a good way of doing it rather than having the feed coming from anywhere else. And I am running the burner fully restricted. I'll give it a, a go fully open and see what happens. As you can see viewers, this is cooking along quite nicely, but I think it's time for an oil burner safety tip. If you set your granny's piss pot on fire like this, for Christ's sake don't let her use it while you've got it going. Not only will she burn her ass off, she'll probably burn the whole goddamn house down. And then where are you going to live? Obviously this isn't apparent to some people who weren't blessed with the good sense that the rest of us take for granted. So this is our way of trying to keep the stupid alive one day longer, but hopefully not to breed too much. Just another helpful safety tip from the Oil Burner Channel.
you might have already seen comments asking me about what can you do with these oil burners? What are they good for? Well, think of them like an engine. Lots of people use this sort of setup in a space heater for their, their home or garage, but it's one of those things that this is the, the basis and the foundation, and you can put it to use for your own ideas. Something I can think of straight off is this would be quite good to replace the gas burner in something like a pool or spa heater. The, the heat output is, is relatively diffused and would go through a heat exchanger real well. But it's up to you what ideas you can come up with. You may be able to see the vapour that's coming out of that as it enters the burner. That's because even with the air, the oil's getting so hot, it's vaporising right in that inlet tube. Pretty impressive, really. a safety tip for the terminally stupid and the boringly obvious don't try to use these gazunders while you've got them running as an oil burner you'll burn your ass off well viewers that's it for this installment of the oil burner channel hopefully you got a bit of a laugh out of it at least if that's the case, please don't forget to click the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and, you know, send me some comments. It's nice to know that people are watching this and, you know, get some feedback from it. I'll uh, keep going and come up with some more wacky ideas for you. Thanks for watching.